Well, grace, mercy, and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. That's often how we begin um, our messages here, and it's how St. Paul began his message to this congregation that he loved at Philippi. That's what we, Pastor Lan and I, have been doing our Bible studies on um, during this time of COVID. And then he goes on to say, I thank my God every time I remember you. He was a long ways away from the Philippian congregation. He was missing them. And I echo Paul's sentiments. These past few months, I really have missed being with you. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm in a jail. Some of you may feel like that, but um, I do miss the community uh, that we have. That's why I was so had such a good time last Wednesday when I invited um, you to come and just say hi and to be able to pray and see how things were going. And boy, you responded so well. Um, I don't think there was a break in the crowd from 8.30 to 4.30 um, that day. So I, it was so wonderful to catch up with you. Even had graduates from Anderson come through um, with their parade that they had from Anderson High School with their robes on and everything. Two things came across in all that. Um, well, I want to say something before that. I did find out who has the big trucks in our congregation. So the next time I got something heavy to haul, I know who to call. But there were two things that you really shared with me as I was listening to you. The first thing was you wanted to really express to all the people here at Redeemer who have been working so hard to do move our ministry online, thank you for the way we've been able to do that. Whether it's these updates every Tuesday for me, or whether it's the pastor's Bible study that Pastor Lannon and I have been doing on Philippians, or whether it's Nightlight, the family devotion, uh, which our Family Life team does on Thursdays, or our worship services, which we do each Sunday, and you can tune in really any time after they're done to see what's going on um, and to be able to worship. All those things, you said thank you very much. In fact, one person I thought had a good insight said, I have been able to connect more with my church through these online platforms than I honestly was connecting with Redeemer before. I'm glad to hear that. I really am glad to hear that. The second thing that you shared with me um, as y'all were driving through was that some of you are definitely ready to return here to church. Not all of you, and I know that very well, and some of you said, yeah, we're not coming back for a while. We're gonna be worshiping with you online, and that's where you're at, that's wonderful. But um, for those of you who do want to return here to church in person, I wanna share with you that um, good news. In-person worship, the regathering here at Redeemer for worship is gonna be on Sunday, June the 14th. And so um, I'm excited about that. Our team's excited, the ministry team's excited about that, and I hope that you are too. I know that there's gonna be four things that are gonna be just critical to doing that in this phase one. Um, our task force is meeting on June 3rd. We're gonna be rolling out more information about that, but I do wanna let you know, these are really the four pillars that we're working with, is first of all, in this phase one, if you're sick, Stay at home. Uh, just don't, don't come out if you're not feeling good. The second thing is hygiene. Working hard to make sure we wash our hands and there'll be sanitizer at the door. So we'll be working hard to do that here. The third thing is that six foot of social distancing. And um, if you come with your family, you get to sit together, but from other people that you don't know, there will be six feet of distancing. So just be aware of that. And the last thing is that we will be asking everybody in the sanctuary, um, unless you're preaching or singing um, up front, uh, to be wearing a face mask. And you may not feel that's that important for you, but for the safety of other people, at least for the time being, and um, to make other people feel comfortable. It's really an act of love. Um, we are gonna be asking anybody who comes in to wear a face mask. Another piece of news that I wanna share with you is uh, the congregational call meeting for the senior pastor is gonna be on Sunday, June the 21st. That date has been set. It's gonna be here in the sanctuary. It's gonna be from 12.30 to 1.30 
um, in the afternoon. There will also be an opportunity, it'll be streamed, and there'll be an opportunity after that meeting from 1.30 to 2.30 to drive through and to be able to cast your vote at that time um, for those who are members of the congregation that are 18 years old um, and more. So what do you do between now and then? My encouragement really is for you to be praying about this process and also plan on attending. I want to end with this. It's Philippians chapter 1. Paul says, after I thank my God every time I remember you, he says, in all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy. Because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now, being confident of this, that the Lord who has begun this good work in you will carry it on to completion in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. I echo those words again. When I think of you, it brings joy to my heart. And I thank God for the partnership that you and I have in the gospel, that good news that brings life eternal, um, our partnership in the gospel here at Redeemer. And I do know that the Lord is at work in all of us, even in the midst of all of this, He's at work in us through His Word, through His Spirit, changing our lives to look more like Jesus as we follow Him. Look forward to seeing you again soon, next week.